Hello world, this is Red from Redneck Modding, and as Jeff Foxworthy might say, you might be a redneck if you like to play Farming Simulator with garbage. Well, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to show you garbage on the frontier map, and now I love this map. This is one of the best ones that I've found so far. The map I was using before, which was Northern Trucking, did not have any farmland on it. It was great for garbage trucks, but not so great for other things. But this map has it all, from oil refineries to commercial downtown districts to residential districts to farmland. It's got it all, baby. So, I... Uh, Took it upon myself to make a few minor little changes to it so that it could add the fill types for my garbage cans. And uh, so I'm going to provide all of the files that I use in my farming simulator simulation of garbage on the frontier map. And uh, I've included course play. I've included auto drive, um, and I've included recycling center that I, again, have modified with my touches to allow you to sell your garbage from all of my garbage cans and make a little money off of that. So without further ado... Let's see if we can get switched over here to the farming simulator on Frontier Map. And one of the things I like about this map is all of the different sounds that it makes. Oh my goodness, it has so many different sounds. Um, but one of the things I see here is that my garbage trucks, uh, I, I, I moved them a while ago and I, I forgot to put them back. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, let's see if we can go find them. Uh, there they are. They're over here at my farm and let me show you where you purchase these bad boys uh, so if you press the P key on your keyboard you'll come to this section here for garbage collection this is where I put all my mods uh, so you have a, a truck which uh, we need to add a couple wheels to it here and uh, maybe add a logo, change the color. You can do whatever you like with it, but that's my preference. And once you've gotten one of these, then you're going to need a, a body, a garbage truck body. Now this one here uh, has a arm that comes down and that's for picking up the dumpsters and you'll need the forks to uh, to go with this particular body and this last one over here is for picking up uh, uh, trash cans so it has a, a pickup area over here on the side and speaking of trash cans, if you move on over, we have a carry can, uh, which will be filled with garbage, uh, a dumpster that is on wheels. We have a large garbage can, uh, which you can add some logo to. You can change the color. Um, you know, whatever you like. And then we have the small garbage can, 
and the mini garbage can and the compost can. The large takes trash, the small takes garbage, the mini is trash, the compost is compost, and they have different fill amounts based on the sizes. Uh, okay, so that's that's where we get the uh, garbage stuff. Now, I have included in the files uh, the Lizard XJ. Again, this is not my mod. I just packaged it with my files because it will also pick up the garbage on the Frontier map that comes with the map itself. And so you can change the engine size, uh, the wheel brand, um, and you can jack it up and whatever. Um, so to, to pick up the dumpsters, you simply uh, open the rear gate back up and make sure that you pick the auto load version of the configuration. And it will then pick up trash for you uh, and load it up. And then you can go sell it at the recycle area. So that is um, a little sampling. I do want to do one thing for us here. Uh, I included the easy development tools. I'm going to turn the flight mode on. And I'm also going to change my running multiplier. I'm also going to add super strength, just in case we need it a little later, to pick up the garbage cans. And... Uh, Let's jump out of these guys here so that we can fly up in the air and take a look around. In case you haven't used this map before, um, I was using the North American map, uh, North, North American trucking map, but it did not support uh, farm fields. It just had, it was a great map for residential section and putting the trash cans on it, but um, it, it didn't it didn't work well for everything so this map's got it all it's got oil fields out here and land that you can do whatever you want with um, it's got this big wall that goes around here um, again I modified this map just slightly for my purposes and you'll find the modified version in the files that you, know, that you can download and uh, you'll find that download link in the video description below but uh, I modified this and plowed this little s section of land and added a recycle center where you can sell your garbage every one of these positions on here will accept the garbage from my garbage cans and I also the author of this uh, didn't want you going through this gate so he had it blocked off with a bunch of soil uh, on top of the road. I removed that and uh, allow you to use this road to get in and out of the map. So uh, anyhow, I, I like I said, I really like this map because it's got it all. And so I wanted to be able to use my garbage cans and actually uh, select uh, routes for you. So if you go into the map and you uh, you bring up the hotspots for tools, you'll see that this is where all of the garbage cans have been located on the map that I have placed there for you on a route where you can try them out. Um, okay, so... Let's get back down to earth here. And uh, let me go back to my store, my uh, farm here. I don't know which one we're in. Yeah, this guy here. So. Like I said, I've added course play 
and auto drive. I've set up some routes on auto drive. Um, and I'm trying to remember. Let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if we can get to the residential loop here. take it for a little test drive. Okay, so this this starts the residential loop. And just to show you uh, how all this works, hopefully, if my driving skills are good enough. So we pull up next to one of the trash cans and we extend the arm out and then we clamp the trash can and we raise it up and extend it and you can see we're filling it and we now have 3,000 liters of garbage and set that down and push it out a little bit and then open up the arms bring this back in and so we can just uh, make a, a run down the, the street So again, we're going to push this out, grab hold of it, lift it up, and and I see that I uh, left this garbage can in a bad position the last time that uh, I used it. So. I would really need to get out and reposition this trash can in order to... Uh, whoa! So as you can see, we do have some garbage in this can. Uh, and what I really need to do I need to go around here from behind, maybe. Close the cover. Well, actually, I should have been. Let's get up a little closer here. Just drop it off right here. Well, I'm stuck here. There we go. You can, as you can see, the trash can is now empty. Let's see if we can put the lid back up. There we go. And so once you have filled your trash can, you need to take it to the recycling center. So we bring up auto drive 
and we set the path to the recycle center. We can let Auto Drive take us there. I don't stop for stop signs, as you can see. Bad habit, I know. Yeah, I'll get a ticket one of these days. Now, because we have traffic turned on, we could get into some trouble when we get up to the main gate. That, I can assure you, is probably going to happen. But we're going to try to keep an out, eye out for it. Because it gets really congested up here by the gate. And I just may, I just may have to, I may have to stop this. No, no. Whoa. I, I did stop it because there's a gate here. And I, I needed to stop for the gate. another gate here. Let's see if it'll crash through. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, doesn't like that very well. Anyhow, this is the recycling center. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna turn this off for now. Because now you know how to get here. I probably need to... Uh, Reworked auto drive so it stops at the gates. But any one of these unload points will sell your garbage. Some will pay you more for it than others. And that's for you to figure out which ones pay the most. But uh, we have arrived, and we're going to sell some trash. And we just got $372 for our trash. And as you can see, there's two ramps, one to get in, one to get out. And so if you drive on down here to the gate number one, you'll see there's a sign here that says the road is closed. Well, not anymore. I opened that sucker up for you. And you can now drive along here. Well, let's bring up auto drive again. Let's take you back to the store. Oh, well, I guess we're not going to take it back to a store. Auto drive needs to have some fine tuning made to it. No, still not going to get there. However, I think if we return over here, yeah, we might be able to get there this way.
Anyhow, as you see on the left, there's the greenhouse production facility. I am making tomatoes right now. And again, I don't like to stop at stop signs, so fortunately, no one was in the way this time. And I was lucky. So, um, we just park this puppy over here. We wow, okay. So, uh, if I missed anything, well, yeah, I guess I should probably tell you where what the what files you're going to get. So, let's jump out of the farm simulator for a moment and let's take you over to the mods and uh, this particular folder has all of the mods that you are going to get included in the files that are going to be posted in the video description below. Um, so the auto drive, course play, again, uh, these are not my mods. I just package them together in one big zip file. Uh, that will be on Mediafire, and it's you're going to have to unzip that file and uh, place those files in your mods folder. And I also include a save game. So, and save game number seven, if you just wanted the garbage cans in your own version of the uh, of the map you could take this vehicle.xml file and just copy that out and paste it into your own save game and you would have all of the garbage cans positioned as they are on my map so i include save game seven Again, you can rename that, save game one, two, three, whatever. Um, but these are the files that you're going to get. And uh, uh, not here, but uh, under, uh, well, they're in this folder as well. Uh, I do like to use uh, the... Uh, To be able to switch between my I'm doing multiplayer or switch between them quickly. Um, but that's just a, um, a little something added if you might want to look that up and download it. I don't provide it for you. But that's about it for now. I can't think of anything else I might have missed. Um, I, I do hope you enjoy playing on the Frontier map. Again, it's not my map. I love it. It's, uh, I can't let anything be, stay the same, I guess. So I, I had to make a few tweaks to it. That's why I've provided uh, a copy of it with my modifications, my redneck modding modifications. And I certainly hope you'll enjoy playing the game you can reach me at modsbyredneck at gmail.com and i hope you'll uh like and subscribe to my videos and uh, i will publish uh some more mods in the future hopefully
Thanks for watching. Bye for now. This is Redneck from Redneck Modding.